Hello, so I'm just getting ready this morning. Got a lecture to go to. What else do I have planned up for the day? After my lecture, I'll probably have some lunch. Then I've got to come back and do some chores and errands I have left in my room. Then, very excitingly, I have another clinical supervision. So if you've seen my video, I spoke about a clinical supervision. So I'm very excited to have another one in which I go to the hospital here in Cambridge, Addenbrooke's, and experience some clinical exposure. I'll be seeing a patient again and chatting with them and learning how to uh, and learning how to take a patient's history properly and ask the correct questions and so on and so on. So that's very exciting. After that, I have a session of ball slap, also known as rugby fives, and then it'll just be a case of coming back, doing some work, doing some video editing, doing some more chores, probably emails, and then going to sleep. So, somewhat of an exciting day today, unlike my Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, most days are quite quiet. But I hope you're excited to join me along the vlog, so let's get going. I promise I take a lot more care of my hair usually. I'm in a bit of a rush, so don't come at me. I also forgot to mention that once I come back from my lecture, I'll quickly talk about my weekend and how it was, along with discussing kind of the structure of my videos. Because now I've done a week of individual videos and also a video of a whole week. And I'm probably going to try and find a balance between that, but I'll talk about that later. Now, one exciting development that's happened is, finally, I've been waiting like two weeks for this. I got a package, got some headphones. I ordered the Sony WH-1000XM3s. It's a mouthful to say, I think I got that right. So I'm gonna do a very quick boom, 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 unboxing kind of thing. I'm not a big fan of unboxings. It's just gonna be me opening and taking it out of the box. But yes, let's go. So it's actually the next day now, and as you could have maybe guessed from the start of this video, I had a really busy day yesterday. And actually, it was one of those things where the time in between each thing I had was so rushed and tight, I didn't have the chance to just take the camera out. I was either running or rushing or making sure I was catching something or getting a bus and... Whew, 
it's been hectic. And because of that, I was like, oh, it's going to be a fantastic vlog, there's going to be so much stuff. But ironically, because there's so much stuff, you're limited in what you can vlog. You're not just limited by the decorations, you can have skeletons on your clothes. Anyway, yes, like I said, it is Tuesday now. <coughs> it's a bit of a less hectic day in terms of places I have to be at. So I have a bit more time to myself, and that means I can do some of the chores I haven't done since this weekend because I was ill. Recently, I felt very kind of out of sync because I was ill over the weekend, so I couldn't get the stuff I wanted to get done, and that spilled over into the week. And now I feel like I'm like four days behind on just life just life in general. I've like lost a couple days. So it's very weird. Cambridge can be like that where a small little, you know, blip or a small little fallback means you, you're, you're now behind. No, like that's it. You've just got to now minimize damage. Um, I mean, I, I say that, but it's not like I've got like exams at the end of this month or something. It's just the stuff I was doing and my plans for, for how things were supposed to be are now kind of set back, which is fine. The whole point of university is learning how to deal with that because you have to accept that that will happen. Life lessons aside, what happened yesterday? So yesterday I went off to my clinical supervision. That was fantastic. And this time we had a pre-briefing session in which we discussed some of the relevant medicine and, and theory behind the patient we were gonna be seeing, which was to do with the heart. He had a bunch of problems with his heart. He had a valve replacement, he had murmurs. He had an underlying connective tissue disorder, which probably explains why his valves were not very good, and so on and so on. But we kind of had a pre-brief also about taking a medical history and setting that initial relationship with a patient. You think it's quite obvious, and some of it is, but not all of it. You've got to be sure to cover all the bases and make sure you've got the right patient and sometimes make sure you are not making assumptions when you're asking certain questions and things. And that's why in the medical field there are so many well-known algorithms, if you would like, on how to speak to patients to make sure you cover everything. Once we got to the patient, again, it's always fantastic to have some experience with patients and um, experience with asking for permission to do things and also doing physical examinations because, you know, we haven't done this yet. The way I described it was, it's the perfect environment to make these small mistakes and not be as embarrassed because the supervisors are just sixth year students. It's not going to be like in fourth year when we're with actual doctors and stuff that will like berate us for being idiots because we are all idiots right now. So it's a perfect way to practice uh, and I'm grateful for the clinical school students for, for running. Next, after that, I had slap ball to go to, but the hospital, Addenbrooke's, is all the way kind of on the east side of Cambridge and the sports site is all the way on the west side of Cambridge. It's about an hour commute and the supervision in Addenbrooke's ended at about half five and the session of Rugby Five started at about half six. So I was in a bit of a rush. I was running for the bus and making sure I had the right thing and then I didn't and then the bus needed cash and I only had card and I had to get a cash machine and I missed that bus and pfft, you don't need this kind of stuff. And it was freezing at the same time. Anyway, I eventually made it. I was about 15-20 minutes late to Rugby Fives. But that was fantastic as well. It's now become less training and just more hitting out the games and just playing as much as we can, getting used to it. And I'm feeling a natural improvement in how I play and it's so nice. Who knew being fit and active and doing exercise was a good thing? And a lot of my friends who are doing it are also seeing a similar kind of trajectory of improving uh, skill-wise and fitness-wise and so on. So, what about today? All I've had so far is a lecture. It's quite boring as well, just like yesterday, sadly. It's an introductory lecture to a lecture set about the cerebellum. What I do have today is one of the talks we've organized for the society, the medical society here. The efforts we've done this year is to have some academics and doctors and stuff to come into the college and just give a talk on research or what they do because it's just cool and it just opens the eyes of other people to other things and, and it's proven to be really fun to organize. But obviously there's a lot of behind the scenes stuff and emailing college and emailing the speakers and organizing costs and the finances behind it, making sure everything works. And it's something I've never done before, but you get the hang of it pretty quickly and, and it, it's so satisfying seeing this end product with the end product being a whole event that like there are 30 or 40 people at. That's, that's crazy. So that's happening later this evening. I've self-appointed myself as a photographer at these events, so there will be some photos of that later tonight. Um, I don't know if I'll get some clips, but it'll be good. But aside from that, 
I'll also be going to the gym later tonight, gotta keep that up. But really, apart from that stuff, that's mostly what today is, so I'll update you later. So, over 12 hours later, what happened since I last vlogged? I did some video editing, I did some chores, I had lunch, had a quick chat with Callum, and got ready for the talk. I brought down the snacks and, and plates and cutlery and stuff that I had, and we set up the room for the talk, which required a lot more than it should have because college didn't really set it up in the way it should have been, but good thing we had an hour beforehand. But the talk was fantastic. It was really good. It was Anna's mum was the speaker. I don't know if I've said this already, but Anna's mum was the speaker, speaking about emergency medicine, A&E, in both Colombia and in Scotland, because that's her background. And it was very interesting. Audience was retained throughout. There was a great turnout, fantastic turnout. People seemed interested. There were questions afterwards and everything went really well. Then afterwards, I decided to go have an impromptu Five Guys with Esme, so we had that. They actually ended up giving us a lot of free stuff, which was really cool. I think it's their weird marketing thing where they just give you free stuff, like lots of free fries for no reason at all. And then instead of doing the logical thing at about half 10 and Esme and I going to our own rooms and just, you know, doing things and then sleeping at a normal time, uh, we both went back to hers. Bernardo was there and we just chatted for hours about loads of things. <laughs> As you can tell, a common theme in my videos is there's a lot of chatting with friends, talking about life, lots of things. Um, and then we ended the night with some general knowledge quizzes, which I wasn't very good at. But yeah, as you can tell, I'm very tired. My throat hurts from talking so much. I mean, it's a little bit from my illness from this weekend, but the talking definitely hasn't helped it. But I'm gonna go to sleep now. I've got a, I've got a lecture at 11 a.m. I have actually come out the least worst from tonight because poor Esme and Bernardo have to be up at like for 9 a.m. things, but I'm only, I've only got a lecture at 11. Sadly though, I didn't go to the gym because yeah, the talk happened and then I went straight for food and to Esme's, so I didn't really have the opportunity. I didn't even remember how to go to the gym, but. I mean, my overall goal is to go to the gym three times a week and have Rugby Fives twice a week. Rugby Fives will pretty much always happen twice a week unless I can't go to a session or something. But gym, I can just go tomorrow instead. It's fine. It's fine that I missed it. It's just that I usually try and make it a Tuesday, but I'll go tomorrow. Easy peasy. So, that's it from me from these two days. Thank you for watching. Appreciate your time. And good night from me.